I'm ready. I am full screen. I'm in full screen. All right. Ready? One, two, four. Hey. Welcome back, everybody. It's another episode of Hoagies and Pierogies podcast. It's your boy, RJ. And over there, of course, we got our boy, Ian Dick. Hoagies and pierogies. <laughs> What's going on, everyone? We should make a song. Um, we should. We definitely so, should. We need an intro. <laughs> yeah. We, we're going to have a special guest, our good friend, Senor Juan, as I like to call him. Uh, he and We messaged him yesterday, and he said he was free, and then all of a sudden he wasn't free. So, John, suck a dick. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was really excited you, to hear. Yes, we do. We love you, John. Uh, we love Reagan as well. We love Reagan. Gonna make, we're going to make that a <laughs> weekly shout out to Reagan. It uh, is. It is. But yeah, so when he comes on, it, it's strap in when John comes on. He's a bit of a wild card. So <laughs> he 100% um, is a wild card. <laughs> um, so you said you have some kind of continuation or something on here. It's a black and blue story. So, so the means. reason the reason why we had to like, I kind of like, wrapped it up at the end there last week was like i need to go like we're going to dinner uh-huh. we went to black and blue a little bit nicer of a place it's not a fancy place i wouldn't consider it but where is that uh it's on the on the carlisle pike it's actually like almost behind sheets that's how fancy it is oh <laughs> but uh we go and sit down and it's in like a an area like a little area with six tables uh-huh. that's still like part of the rest of the room there's just like a little like chest high wall around it yeah like a half wall or whatever they call them yeah so we sit down and then this group of people comes in and they're like oh shit we're in the vip section (laughs) and all of a sudden we were all like all right they're drunk but at least they're kind of funny maybe hopefully this doesn't escalate it escalated (laughs) Okay. Sit okay. there, wait for our food, and all of a sudden, the chick that said that walking in gets up from the table and just like falls into the table next to her, <laughs> <laughs> falling on the, this this dude's wife that's just eating her food. So these people were hammered. That sounds like oh, me. They were like hammered. hammered. And I'm I, like... uh, I actually knew one of them. One of them oh. uh, hung out. I'm not saying. I'm, no, not don't say did it. I'm not saying they did it, but they hang out oh, with the people. Wow. They hung out with the people that did heroin in high school. <laughs> so it may have been more than alcohol. And actually, I Fair it was enough. going to be because I also heard this afterwards. So everything's pretty fine. It, it's all right. You know, they're just being loud. I guess her boyfriend goes to the bathroom or something, and then I I go in, and he's in the stall. And right when I walk in, I hear. Yeah, just a G. I, I, thanks, man. Please, like, can you please, like, tonight, tonight. <laughs> and I was like, he's not getting a gram of weed for four people. It's a gram of Coke. <laughs> oh my God. This dude just made a deal for Coke in the bathroom <laughs> restaurant. That, that is not like this. Never, this never ever like happens there. Like drunk people aren't really in the back eating. Like I said, it's more of a sit down celebration kind of thing, like for a birthday or a, you know, <laughs> or a job promotion. It doesn't sound like it. It's in the backyard of sheets, and you got people falling over making drug deals in the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it was uh, it was definitely an interesting experience. The the waitress was like, "I am so sorry, this never happens here," and I'm like, "It was okay. It's okay. That was entertaining." <laughs> I love when like the waitresses and waiters apologize for something they have literally no control over it's like yeah yeah dude you can't do it like i i worked for a short time as like a server and i have so much more respect for those people now it's like you know you serve like you get food and they say it's bad or whatever and a lot of times people will like start yelling at the waiter or waitress and it's like dude i have no control over that what are you talking about (laughs) you want to go back and yell at the chef feel free like I hate them too. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, it was uh, it was definitely an entertaining night. I'm glad I went. Ah, oh, the falling over. That sounds yeah. That sounds like I'm surprised they weren't kicked out right yeah. then and there. Seriously. But it was just I've... it was just the one chick that looked and acted drunk. All the rest of them were drunk, but they weren't acting drunk. You know. That sounds like a me move. When I'm when I'm way too when I'm over served a, a trip and fall is it's like 
It's like a signature move for me. Like I got, <laughs> got kicked out of Tequila Cowboy. I think it was Tequila Cowboy at in Pittsburgh or McFadden's and Listen. I'll be, because I just tackled a chair because I fell. <laughs> and then when I went to everyone Firefly, gets kicked out of Tequila Cowboy. That's true. And then I went to Firefly and I tripped over a girl at Firefly because I was way too drunk. And I got up and there was a toothpick sticking out of my leg. Oh. <laughs> to pick the toothpick out of my leg <laughs> and i just kept going <laughs> oh my god <laughs> like i at least barreled. it wasn't yeah at least it wasn't an aidsy toothpick yeah i barreled over this girl too man I... <laughs> that's but... gross <laughs> that sounds painful uh god damn all right so uh sports yeah sports <laughs> so I mean, this is probably one of the less sports things you put on here. You said Sean Murphy's ass is gorgeous. Just, is that the guy go, who bounced just, the ball? Yeah, the, the I just, ball I'm just going off. Just go off of your itinerary, and then I'll chime in no, with my no, stuff. Because that that has to do with the thing where I said caps mean tweets. Yeah, I know, but caps introduce that first. My the my thing has to do with to, your topic, so say your topic first. <laughs> I wasn't sure if you saw the the uh, meme that I quote tweeted that they put out. Yeah, well, that's I don't know Sean why. Murphy's ass. <laughs> I don't know why the Capitals have decided to just do a full frontal assault on the Flyers. We're already dead. We're playing half the Phantoms at this point. Like I our love it. team. And they were just on a tweet storm about the Flyers. And it, they've got the Flyers logo on the ball and then the Caps logo on the guy's ass. And they just got – and they made, the, they made the Flyers logo so tiny too. It was so <laughs> insulting. I've never been so insulted by a tweet from a professional team. And then I forget well, I mean, the you other... have to make it small when it's like to Sean Murphy's ass. <laughs> and it just bounced right off. And did you see this final score of that game? Uh, no. I, or was it like eight to two It was or nine to two. Nine to they, two, yeah. They scored four goals in the first period, I'm pretty sure. Maybe five. <laughs> I'm so, so done with the Flyers. I can't Flyers wait. Flyers suck, I guess. Dude, we did this whole big rebuild, right? To like barely make the playoff, like just barely make the playoffs a couple times. And then now it's like, oh, here we go. We're doing another rebuild, basically. Everyone's saying sell the team. Uh, It's just going to be another couple years of misery for me. Sucks. I'm not happy. They're like literally my favorite team. Like if they were to win a Stanley Cup, that would be the ultimate. I I could die the next day and I'd be happy. And they just, it's not (laughs) looking great. Same with me just, for the uh, for the Pirates. Yeah, so you know. It's awful. But what is this? Dude, what is this glue girl shit? I missed this. <laughs> it was... I missed the I missed the Twitter part of it, but I saw the kind of tail end of it on the next day. It was it was one of the greatest Twitter moments. So it was during the uh, T-Wolves... Oh, what the hell? <laughs> it's during the T-Wolves Clippers game. This girl decided she was going to protest the t-wolves owner or something like that first of all you bought a ticket to this game so you just paid this man <laughs> yeah or <laughs> like some, a lot of money in. this is yes. the for it. Yes. this isn't a regular season game <laughs> and or she had to be somewhat nice to get all the way down to the court she there's a possibility she paid for courtside tickets in a play on game and it had something to do with he there was something to do with a bunch of chickens got the bird flu so they killed them all at like a farm to you know make chicken for people and it was a stupid protest, and it had to do with oh, what uh, the hell? making horse using horse hose or how the horses are treated when they make glue. I don't know, but she decided that she would use Elmer's glue to stick herself to the court in protest. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see her there. What the hell? Like what? I'm wa- I was watching it live, and I saw them like dragging someone off, and they thought it was a. Uh, Someone collapsed, like a Timberwolves worker or something. No, it was this lady trying to glue herself to the court with Elmer's fucking glue. And like live, I'm like, she looks I, lost. Yeah, and I'm like, what just happened? And I'm like, <laughs> I'm getting so sick of fans. Fans seem to have just lost their minds. Oh, lost you can see the handprint. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they thought it was graffiti, and I went to bed, so I didn't know what happened until the next day. And like the fact that you use Elmer's glue, something that barely like keeps a kindergarten art project together you think you're going to stick yourself to the court and have any kind of effectiveness in the five seconds they're going to take to get you off and even if you did use something effective like gorilla glue 
you think the NBA franchise is going to have any issue just ripping your skin off the floor? No. <laughs> you, you basically trespassed onto the court. They will, they will win that court case. They will take you for all your money because you decided to sue something stupid and glue yourself to the fucking floor of an Dude, NBA. That was dumb. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. Glenn Taylor roasts animals alive. That's what her shirt said. <laughs> Oh my god, it was ridiculous. And she's like, you see the picture of her? She's like, she might have a point, but she's an idiot. <laughs> yeah. You know, I don't know what that's about. Maybe she maybe she's right. <laughs> At least do like the PETA thing. But why, like, why are you gluing yourself to the floor? Yeah. At least do the PETA thing and like bring some fake blood or something to dump on someone. Like that's a little bit more effective and you're just Hey, bitch, burn yourself alive. <laughs> All right, too far. <laughs> <laughs> no, absolutely not. If you're so stupid to try and glue yourself to a court with Elmer's glue, I cannot get over the fact a glue stick might have been more effective than Elmer's fucking glue. It may have been. <laughs> Maybe just some sweat. <laughs> oh my god, yeah. So that was part of one of the playing games, and then we've got Pat Beverly celebrating like he won the fucking World Olympics championship. After winning that playing game, which I personally don't have as much of a problem with. People think it's like the, uh, what is it, NBA on TNT were trolling them. They were playing, they did it where they played We Are the Champions over top of it. Or oh, they really? One. Yeah, where they, played, <laughs> they played one shining moment as well. And they're like making fun of how much they celebrated. Like if it was the Lakers or even like we're the We're going Sixers to Disney. Kind of thing, yeah, it's like if it's one of the teams that have like a history it's like, all right, relax. It's the Minnesota Timberwolves. Like, they've been dog shit for years. Let them have this at least. And yeah. that was just a that was a personal game for him. He was just like, fuck you, Clippers. <laughs> it was very funny. I had no problem with it watching it. I was like, No, I would absolutely not have any problem with that. I don't know why yeah. anyone would. Oh, you're not there yet. Save your energy. Shut up. I'm gonna open my window real quick. Um it's like I might have to open mine too. Minnesota is just one of the saddest like sports franchises, not fran like sports cities in the world right now. Like, yeah, <laughs> what is it? The, the Twins have lost thirteen straight playoff games, and I'm pretty sure they're all to the Yankees. The Timberwolves oh sucked. Uh, you had, you did have the Minneapolis the Miracle, only to get absolutely shit on the next week by the Eagles. The Vikings have probably been the best team, and that's sad. Yeah, and it's just miserable. Well, the so, Wild are pretty good, right? Yeah, they, they're good, and then they lose the first like play, like the first series every single year. <laughs> it's like one of the hockey capitals in the U.S. is Minnesota. You literally had two Minnesota teams and the Frozen Four this year, which is the hockey's like college championship. So, at some time, it might have even been. Three Did either of them win? I don't know if it's over or not. Oh, uh, okay. Do a quick check, fact check. So they started like before NHL playoffs. Yeah, I think it's I think it's over. Uh, who the won the Frozen Four? four. Uh, it looks like Denver won this year. As a quick look, so Minnesota yeah, can't that, even win that. that so I think <laughs> I think I think Minnesota State won last year. Like they have three hockey teams there. They have Minnesota, who's usually pretty good. They have Minnesota State, which is like. If you look up their jerseys and stuff, they're pretty dope. It's like purple and yellow. It's almost like the Vikings for hockey. And then they've got uh, Minnesota Duluth, who's won a couple championships as well. And it's oh, like, okay. All you've got Duluth is Duluth Trading Company. <laughs> 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 That's for real, man. Uh, you, want, you don't want your balls to be <laughs> in a vice grip. <laughs> Wear Duluth Trading Company underwear. Oh my God. Um, that's all I really have for the playing games. Like nothing really happened. Last night, I felt like I, I watched them. I yeah, it's just NBA is just I don't know. Yeah, well, did I right did we now? It's not it? exciting. I don't know. Did we talk about it on here? How like there's three days in between the games for the playoffs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The the NHL playoffs are gonna start and finish before the NBA playoffs do. Probably they take way too much time off. Like I don't I don't know I I know like for football. You well, know, no, every, it's just like every, get it over with. I mean, well, no, come not on, you're that. not getting not, tackled out there. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like for football, I know every week, like it feels like you got hit by a fucking freight train. Mm -hmm. But 
basketball, I mean, how, how do you, like two days, do you really need two days to be ready for, I'm sure some of the older guys do, but how much more of a difference is that going to make? And it's only 48 minutes instead of 60 minutes. <laughs> half of them didn't play half the year because they're all doing the fucking whatever it's called now, the their load management. So, yeah, suck a dick, NBA. All right. <laughs> do something Man, to make we, we really ate everyone today. I guess it's do building something up to something. To, no. <laughs> yeah. Do something to make me like you. Like, I want to like NBA, but I just don't. It's just. People might hate. People are going to hate this take, but yeah, whatever. especially because people think it's the most exciting sport there is. But I just, I don't know. No, like I don't know. I won't get too into that. Um, so we'll move on to baseball. Uh, my Philly started off fairly hot. I think three and one mm-hmm. started off, and then that that exciting game against the Mets was great. I we were down like oh. four and three. Had a had a comeback in the eighth inning. It was beautiful. And then we lost the last two games. But hey, what did I say that first episode? The Mets are going to Mets it up. <laughs> they, did, they did. But the next two games, they shut them down. Uh, so it's, it's a waste of a Zach Wheeler start. But like it was two runs. They won two nothing. You couldn't do something. The, oh, yeah. the, the hitting's not starting off great. Like Bry- I think Bryce is. Getting like 183 right now, uh, and Cassiano. I'm not worried about Harper. No, they'll they'll pick up. It's just it's actually too I'm not early. worried about anyone right now. You're we're a weekend. Yeah, exactly. It's too early to really get too excited either way. It's just it's fun to beat the Mets, and even though they uh, beat us the next two times, it's I want to I want to start hating again. I haven't like uh, the franchises for Philly at least have been so like eh. Recently, like I haven't had that fire in me for games where I'm like, I fucking hate you. <laughs> I'm screaming at the TV no matter what, but where like it's actual pure fury in my heart that I'm yelling at the Cowboys players or something like that or the Mets. Like I can't wait. I can't wait to get back to that. Like I'm hoping the Eagles will be better this year where I can do that. And as the year goes on, the Phillies play like either of the New York franchises and the Braves. I'm ready to. I'm ready to be mad. I'm ready to hate. Uh, and then, did you see the video from the last uh, game of the Mets Phillies? Uh, no. Oh my God! Let's get a live reaction of this. I'm pretty sure I liked it. I gotta find it. It's it's a Mets fan like filming the last out or whatever. And oh just... yeah, I did. Yeah, 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 I did. I did. I did. <laughs> yeah, I saw that. The guy just dude on the field. And then the like, accent. Did you see the one guy tried to put him in a headlock like he just punched a woman or something. Like <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who why they were like it wasn't even security stopping the guy from running. And then he literally was like holding it back, and the guy just went whoop, lift the arm up and just sprinted. He was just like, <laughs> yeah. oh, <I'm> <laughs> well, the old lady who was the you know the attendant at the seats. <laughs> what was she gonna do? You know, she was just like, all right, guys, stop. You gotta stop. <laughs> stop. It's so funny. And then it cuts back. It's like. The video is like, it's like a fan video, but like edited because then it cuts to the other the Mets guy. He's like, "Who's laughing now?" And the guy in the video, his accent. Oh like, yeah. The whole stadium's fucking laughing at you now. I can't even do like a real true like Philly Delco accent, even though I'm like, I'm not from that <laughs> area, but I'm I kind of am. Like, it's so funny. He's like, "The whole call me when you get your phone back." That was Australian. <laughs> I can't. Do it. I'm, I'm no longer. Hey. I'm no longer trying to do the Delco accent. I just can't. I really can't. Just say yeah, I, yeah, hoagie, my A's in class and ass and all that stuff. That that ass. comes out. Yeah, I it's can't do that. Like a little bit like countryish. Yeah, I don't know why. I I never I never like realized it until uh, I came to school and everyone hears like, "What do you do that with your A's?" I'm like, "What are you talking about? There's nothing wrong. <laughs> I'm just talking." Like I know I have some weird sayings and stuff from just where I went to school, but. I didn't know I spoke funny. Oh, yeah. Well, speaking of the when you said it was 2-0, last night I went to the O's game. Oh. Yeah, dude. It was really fun. <laughs> what a so since, since we have a job, it's 20 minutes from the stadium. It's a 20-minute drive. Mm-hmm. So nice. I was just like, hell, I'll go to an Orioles game. It's going to be 80 degrees. And, Are uh, they playing? No, no, no. They were playing the Brewers. I, I just wanted to go to a game. Oh, because I saw you. It was the one closer or whatever you put on your Snapchat story. I 
the the jerseys that looked like it was the Pirates. I was like, well, that's convenient too. Oh no, yeah, the, it was the Brewers. Okay, okay, but uh, how was that? Yeah, the the Brewers went up two zero really early. I think it was in the first inning, and then the oh, Orioles just, the Orioles just couldn't do anything, anything at all. And then all of a sudden, Devin Williams comes in for the Brewers, and he just shits the bed. Usually, he's like really good, <laughs> but he lets up two runs right away. So then it's two two going into the ninth inning and then the Orioles shit the bed <laughs> <laughs> what else is new it was just like a sudden roller coaster the whole stadium got so loud when they went up uh or when they tied the game and then there was just a rain of booze when the brewers went up four to two oh. was it pretty packed like were there a lot of people there uh no not really it was like, I mean, all the seats like closer in were filled. I'd say there was probably about 15,000, 20,000 people. That's the thing. You start like, like almost 40,000. You see some of these. Oh, fucking Siri. Shut up. Sorry. My Siri on my laptop activated. I don't know why, but you see. You have Siri on your laptop? Yeah, on the MacBook. Turn that bitch off. Yeah, I should. I would like to murder Siri and murder Alexa. Don't you fucking start back there. I hate both of them. Um, but you see on like Sports Center and stuff, like top 10 plays, and it's in these ballparks, and they're just like empty. And it's like, do half these organizations even make money? I don't understand. Like, they, there's no salary cap in baseball. No, that's what they want you to think. Shut up. <laughs> well, I just don't, like, honestly, I don't, I feel like. Years ago, you'd see it, and even in like the bad teams, the stadiums had like they weren't. I'm not gonna say they're packed, but there weren't like whole sections just completely empty. Mm-hmm. It's just weird to me. A, th- a lot of teams make money from their TV deals. They're they're all local TV deals, mm-hmm. so makes you know sense. they'll get that money up front. That makes sense. Is that why the owners don't want to open up the books? Well, the owners just fucking suck in general, so. <laughs> Always the owners for everything always suck. Um, I'm trying to think of anything else that I mean, how'd your pirates been doing? I, I've um, been trying to somewhat keep up, not too bad. Uh, Cabron Hayes is looking like a monster, he's already saved, uh, he has four defensive runs saved, which nice. over the course of a season will add up to like 102, I think. And the record for most defensive runs saved in one season is most DRS one season. I is he, have is that is that like a projection? Like he's projected to, or he's on pace to do have that many? Yeah, that's like um, it's like when someone scores like five touchdowns in the first week of the NFL. They're like they are now on pace to score a thousand touchdowns in the season. It's like well, that's not going to happen. Yeah, so he's on pace for a hundred. Andrel- <laughs> Andrelton Simmons has the record with forty. Okay, that seems so cool. he's projected to crush it by six, by sixty, uh, sixty runs saved. Seems uh, of seems course that's not going to happen. He's already turned like six double plays or something like that. Yeah, but think about it. It's a team who usually is going to get a lot of hits against them. It's, that's it's true. That's true. A lot of balls will be put in play. Uh, I did actually so maybe. Of, yeah, uh, I did think of two other baseball stories. I don't know if you saw uh, Alec Bohm from the Phillies. Uh, three place. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you're going to, buddy. You're going to hate us, but guess what? You're also gonna fucking love us. All right. That's the whole. That's the best part of being in Philly. All right. We'll love you, <laughs> but we'll also hate you. Whether n- people will hate Bryce Harper at some points, and they will fucking love him as well. There's no in between with us. You, you're, we're polar. We're on the major ends of either one. You're never gonna get someone who's gonna be indifferent about any of. Any of the players. You might get a couple fans, but most of the fans, they'll be like, oh, I fucking hate that guy. Or, this guy is the god. He's god. Like, Joel Embiid is on that plus right now. We we love Joel Embiid. And then you got Harden on the other side. People fucking hate him right now. Uh, oh, yeah, dude. If John was here, he would go off. And this, John's a 76ers fan. Yeah. See, that's... He would go off right now. <laughs> I'd, like to du- I'd like to double down on uh, John suck a dick uh, because this would have been great. And I'm missing you as well. <laughs> I was like a sappy suck my dick. <laughs> sappy? It, it, that seems kind of painful. Yeah, it's, a sappy dip, sappy dick suck? 
No, like <laughs> I said, I missed him. I was a little bit of a heartfelt. I missed you, John. And I, I know RJ because you're not here. <laughs> oh well, when you were saying it, I was thinking of like a like you're kind of clogged up. You got some oh. sappy scene. <laughs> You got to really force to get that out. <laughs> it's not. A, I've had that not, happen before. <laughs> you're not. You're not shooting ropes. You're dripping ropes. <laughs> um, it's like the when the toothpaste thing. is is like yeah. hardened at the top, and then you squeeze yeah. it. You start squeezing it, and it just won't come out. And then all of a sudden, just all of it just comes out on the toothbrush. Uh, <laughs> uh, and then the other thing, I think it happened yesterday. Uh, the Dodgers take out Clayton Kershaw after seven perfect innings and 80 pitches pitched. People are idiots. He was out okay. for three months this offseason. He was injured. Yeah, but it's a perfect game. 80 pitches. Is This is what, second start? I don't know. Is that a lot? Yeah. I feel like that's not a lot. Out of 30, he pr- he'll probably get about 30 starts. Hmm. And just, he's, like, he's pretty injury prone already, so don't push it. That's true. Dodgers are probably going to win it all this year if they can, if they don't fall apart like they did last year. Well, I mean, they've got literally fucking everyone. Like, the Dodgers do what all Yankee fans want the Yankees to do. They just spend, and they don't mm-hmm. give a shit. It's like... But they they know how to do it though. <laughs> the Yankee it seems like the Yankees don't know what they're doing. It really no. does. I, I like I don't get any of the moves that they make. Uh, I don't know either. I mean, I just don't know anything about baseball. But it, it just from a basic knowledge, it just seems like you know I don't know what are you doing. Mm-hmm. You guys could be so much better, and you know that it, that can kind of transition into the next thing where I said earlier I miss hating, so we're gonna hate. All right. I've got a whole list of uh, what did I do? I said players, coaches, teams, uh, refs, umps, officials, commissioners, and then fan bases. And uh, Yankees were one of my fan bases that I absolutely hate. And it's even let's do this. It's not even just like Yankees either. It's like all the fan bases who have historical success as well, and they just expect to win. And it's like, well, guess what, buddy? Things are different now. You suck. You're not spending any money. Stanton and Judge can, you know, they can pop up every so often, but, you know, they blow sometimes as well. Did you see that call? That guy is an absolute moron. The Yankees announcer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Dude, it did. It did look like it was going way it off. Did. The it did. It died at the warning track. The uh, wild card game last year was even better. A Stantonian home run that bounces off for a double. <laughs> <laughs> hey at least that one was a hit <laughs> yeah <laughs> he goes it was so funny he's like and it's gone and it's an out <laughs> he could have been better about him like and it's gone into insert player's name glove <laughs> yeah <laughs> it's just like it just made it so much worse that it was just like oh it, it's not gone i don't know how old that guy is it might be might be time to take him off the mic yeah, I don't even know. I don't know uh, local announcers like that. I don't either. I don't know his name. I just saw it all over Twitter. It was hilarious. Uh, so I'll, I'll start with you. I'll, I'll ask you yours first. We'll start with, I know I started with fan bases, but we'll start with players. So you give me your players that you just absolutely despise. I hate Patrick Mahomes. I, now, okay. Do you hate Patrick Mahomes or do you I hate thought Patrick? about this. I thought about this. And I know you're going to say, do you hate his wife and his brother or Patrick Mahomes? I think it's Patrick Mahomes. Okay. I, I'm willing to, I, I'm kind of teetering at this point. I'm willing to listen. I don't know. I I hate his baby face first off. <laughs> and I hate, <laughs> I hate his stupid voice. <laughs> He's, he does have a really weird, <laughs> it just, oh. You didn't give me the Patrick Price. You're giving everyone else the Patrick Price. I hate that commercial too. Every everyone on State Farm commercials, I fucking hate you. Oh, well, no. <laughs> I guess that's even better. It's a little bit nasally. 
Yeah. yeah and, uh... <laughs> but uh, I appreciate how he plays the game. Yeah, I, it's... I don't know. I'm But there's just really something about him that I for him to even surround himself with his girlfriend and his brother, he can't say no to them for some reason. I oh, hate Did him you that. see the fake re- <laughs> the fake report that he said that they couldn't come to games anymore? I almost wish that was real. That would have been hilarious. I, I thought it was real to be honest. Like, I would have been just all the way fake. back on the Mahomes train. Like I he was someone that I <laughs> I got him in like the eighth round or something for fantasy. His like year, his first year that he went off, and I yeah. was all in on the Mahomes train. And like over the years, I mean, it's just it just comes with success at that point. People are going to start hating you. Like people could have probably given two shits about the Patriots in 1999, and then you know after six Super Bowls, you're going to start to fucking hate those people. Patrick told me to stop using bitch face. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. That was. So funny. I couldn't believe that. <laughs> I mean, she, I like, I appreciate how almost ride or die she is for him. Like, she would, she would absolutely shoot someone for him and cover up a murder, but she is so annoying. She already and has. Probably. <laughs> unless, like, I wouldn't be surprised. And Jackson's just insufferable. Like, the. It, now it did seem yeah, he like killed it, Pat Tillman's ghost. Yeah, and well, <laughs> the uh, the Sean Taylor thing, Sean Taylor, that's that the guy, the, the old Washington Commander. No, played I for it was Miami. Pat Tillman. No, 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 Sean, was uh, Sean might, Taylor. Might have been, there might have been a Pat Tillman thing too. But, but it was him Taylor. dancing on the number. We're talking about the same. Yeah, thing. yeah, yeah, yeah. Sean Taylor. It was Sean Taylor. Okay. That, I mean, that uh-huh. was honestly that was a whole Dan Snyder thing anyway, and the Commanders organization more. Because it seems like that's just where they put the famous people to go on the field. It's literally mm-hmm. on his number. And it was all put together to cover up Dan Snyder's like whole thing that was going on with John Gruden and all that, basically, which is shitty. So uh, Dan Snyder actually add that. No, we'll get to it. We'll get to it. I'm getting ahead of myself. But that, yeah. Uh, any, anyone else? He's an you- owner. Are you putting owners you hate on here? No, we don't have to. But oh. <laughs> just, he's, I have no... Honestly, I should like him because he's just destroyed that franchise and the Washington Commanders are just an afterthought at this point in the NFC East. (laughs) You can't hate them. It's just Dan Snyder's just a dickhead and a horrible human being. Uh, Do you have any other players? To be honest with you, I couldn't really think of much for hate. I just not... You seem to be way more into this than I ever will be. So. I just, I'm ready. To, I, I just, like I said, I just miss hating. I'm, I'm so, I want to hate people again. And I, like, it, it was kind of hard putting it together. Some of them I just kind of threw on there. But uh, I've always hated Brad, Brad Marchand and Sidney Crosby. But like, I mean, Sidney Crosby, I can't say anything. He's just amazing. Like, I hate him because he's so good. Uh, yeah, I, I just didn't want to. I felt like most of mine were just like just rivals. And that's like yeah, a dumb. That's, that's I mean, like that's a dumb reason. Like I don't know. That's not interesting. Yeah, I guess normally. <laughs> like, of course you hate the, the. You know, of course I hate the Cubs and the Reds. Yeah, yeah, but there's also like if it's a specific reason of why you hate them. So I'm like, like the Bruins aren't technically like a. They're not, not a, really, other than that they're the Cubs and the Reds. Yeah, the the Bruins aren't like a Flyers rival, but that series where we were down three nothing and came back and won after that series, I just hated the Bruins and then when they won the cup that one year where I think Brad Marchand like licked someone like that was ridiculous it's almost he's one of those guys that you would love on your team but you absolutely fucking hate him on on the another team and they're just I think it just goes into Boston like Boston fans too they're just so annoying um Mm -hmm. and then I don't know if you even know who do you know or remember who Sean Avery is uh no he is by far the biggest dickhead in nhl ever to exist and he is still a dickhead to this day he there is a rule put into uh the nhl where in one of the playoff games against the uh devils to screen martin brodor he literally turned around and faced him and was just waving his stick in his face and yeah he's i think he's made comments about uh 
people's wives before. He's a menace on the ice. He's a cheap shot. I literally saw a video today of him in like a men's league game after some guy scored and celebrated. And mind you, again, a men's league game. He oh. went up to them and just like hit him in the back of the knee and just collapsed the kid. And it's like, oh, Jesus, dude, are you kidding me? He posts on his Instagram all the time of him riding around New York City in uh, the bike lane or whatever and just screaming at people for being in the bike lane. He's just an absolute terrible scum of a human being. What a dick. That's illegal, right? <laughs> you can't drive in the fucking bike lane. <laughs> no, 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 not drive. Like, he's on his bike in the bike lane. And Oh, oh. Well. There's a guy on TikTok that does the same thing, and I think it's funny, but because it's Sean Avery, it's just disgusting. I hate him. <laughs> It's awful. He's so. And then uh, Carson Wentz is my last one. Like he's just him. I don't have as much a hate for Ben Simmons because I again I basketball isn't as much my thing. But just such a mental short person. Like you had. I don't even know what to say. He's just so ridiculous. He's always out in the off season. Just. He, he is the biggest menace to the duck population in the world. Have you seen those Instagram posts of him with just a million ducks hanging up behind him? No. Dude, he murders ducks. Like, he's a serial killer for ducks. <laughs> Unbelievable. And that's not even why I hate him. I'm not like, he's just, it was uh, that whole thing where when Nick Foles won the Super Bowl, he was ruined after that. He's never going to be the same quarterback ever again. And I can't wait. I might have to purchase tickets to and Eagles Commanders game this year. So I can, I'll make a sign. I'm going to make a shirt for Carson Wentz because, dude, <laughs> you, we we gave you everything. We were so ready to be, we, me and Corey were screaming. Except an ACL and a spine. Yeah. <laughs> so ridiculous. He was such a pussy. And some people still are like, oh, he got us to that Super Bowl. I don't give a fuck. Carson Wentz, <laughs> eat my taint. Are you in a bad mood today? <laughs> no, I, well, no, I did like. I didn't have the best day. I had like my medication made me have like a mini panic attack earlier for I don't oh, know Jesus. why. Uh, yeah, it was ridiculous. I was just so anxious about nothing. Uh, yeah. oh, but, no, I had, a, I had a pretty good day. I took a midterm that I did pretty well on. I'm pretty sure, and had a good workout. Got a good Hell sweat. Yeah. But no, I like I said, I just miss hating and I want to hate. Fuck yeah. So <laughs> maybe this is more just a segment for me where you're just my therapist. Ian's just, we're just going to do RJ's corner of hate. <laughs> weekly therapy for RJ because therapy costs too fucking much. So Ian, prepare. <laughs> I'll, I'll uh, yeah. So how does that make you feel? <laughs> Hateful. And the hate, how do you channel it? Fury. <laughs> Any activities that you like to take your fury out on? <laughs> Any activities? Uh, working out helps. Uh, this podcast has been great. Cool. Uh, just getting mad. Uh, cool. I like a good scream every so often at work. Sometimes when people are pissing me off, I'll go into the walk-in <laughs> cooler and just scream, maybe punch a box. I don't usually like to resort to violence. I'm a pretty... Uh, if I can avoid violence, I will. But, uh, you know, I miss when I used to do karate. That, that, that would have been great. <laughs> Going to just break a board, hit a couple pads. Judo chop! <sighs> yeah, yeah. Something like that. That'd be great. Maybe I should get a punching bag. Maybe I should pick up boxing. Oh, RJ the boxer. Yeah. Forget about podcasts. You'll see me on, not even, you know what, UFC. You'll see me on UFC. I was going to say, you want to roll? Are you going to roll a bit? Yeah, yeah, let's roll. <laughs> I was pretty good at grappling when I did karate. Little known fact, I am a black belt. I got it when I was like 12. Whoa. So technically, Re Reagan makes fun of me. I'm technically a junior black belt, but I did the same test as everyone else. <laughs> 12 and under black belt. <laughs> yeah, it was different. It was different. It wasn't fully black. It was like half black, half red. Oh, there black. you go. <laughs> and I and I quit karate before I could get my full one at 16. It was literally just an age thing. I just sparred <laughs> two people at once. It was awful. I watched kids cry when they did that. Like it was it was like three hour test. Like with 17. pads on and shit. Yeah 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 yeah. I made a kid cry at a tournament one time. <laughs> <laughs> it was awesome. I kicked the shit out of him. 
And then I got the shit kicked out of me by a red belt. I was a blue belt at the time. I'll avoid violence if I can. <laughs> I, mean, I really will. I like I'd rather not be in a fight, and not because I like that's so long ago. I don't think I'd hurt someone. I just I'd rather give you a hug than fight you. Have you been in a fight before? Once in hockey, and it wasn't like, even. I was like at school or something. No. <laughs> no. But. Well, like with hockey, it's not like at the youth, you're not allowed to fight. And it was, we were at, we were in York, actually. And we were playing the York Devils. Fuck those kids. They're all dickheads. They were, we were getting <laughs> blown out and the refs were awful. They were calling everything against us. And I was pissed off. But, you know, usually when like, like I don't want to get in fights, uh, people would be, like go, when people would go at each other in hockey, I'd be the one to break it up. I'm like, guys, stop being fucking idiots. Let's just play the game and get this over with. Hey, 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 hey. Like hugging him. Pretty them. much, yeah. And so this one kid, he walked by. Mind you, it's like seven to two. We're getting killed. Our goalie catches the puck. Whistle blows. The kid goes up and slashes him in the pads, which he doesn't feel at all. Like, those yeah. goalie pads are huge. So our <laughs> one hothead comes out of nowhere and flies into all but kill this kid. And I'm like, his name was John, ironically. And I was like, John, no, no, no. And we end up on the ground. And at this point, I'm like, fuck it, whatever. And I'm just, whip, 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 whip. Oh, my God. I gave him, like, nine or ten good ones right to the head against the ice, just pounding this kid into the ice. And, I mean, he had a helmet on. Still, it doesn't feel great. Like, oh, uh, that's what I always didn't understand. Why are you punching someone with a helmet on? And you got gloves. Like, I wasn't dropping the gloves. I know, but like, even with gloves, what, what does that do? Honestly, honestly, it might hurt more. I'd have never been actually punched in the face, but it might hurt more because the whole thing just rattles, and you're just <laughs> nailed. Like, no one's holding back because it doesn't hurt my fist. I got a glove on, and the ref grabs me from behind, and I'm ready to turn around. Like, I just felt someone grab me, and I turned my as my mom and dad said. They were like, you looked like you were about to knock the ref out because you had just had enough. <laughs> oh, my God. Luckily, I realized it was the ref, and I was like, all right, whatever. That's insane. Yeah. I got kicked out of the game, and I was suspended for the next game. Jesus that's Christ. That's the only fight I've been in that wasn't, like, sparring. I've been in, like, two fights, I guess. I've One of them. Actually, there there are three, but the one I just got the shit beat out of me. <laughs> it was it was in fifth grade. <laughs> oh God, fifth grade? I don't know. I don't know what this bitch had in her purse. I I don't like the way this is starting. <laughs> I don't like the but way. This I just is made starting. like I I was in fifth grade. I don't know what kind of remark I could have made. I remember it not even being about her, but she heard it. And she just no turns body. around and fucking smacks me in the side of the head with her purse. <laughs> so I just, all of a sudden, I'm like, whoa, what the fuck? So then I just get down. I go into, like, a fucking fetal position. And she is swinging her purse. Who, what fifth grader has a fucking purse in elementary school? One that's 14 in fifth grade. <laughs> oh, this yeah, person she was, like, 13 repeated. or 14. This person had repeated. 13, you should be like a freshman in high school almost. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah. I'm pretty sure she was 13. It was weird. Dude, we lived in a <laughs> not great. So that area. wasn't that wasn't a fight. You just got jumped. Basically. You just got jumped. I I would not classify. And then that yeah, and then everyone's like, Ian got beat up by a girl. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> got no, beat that's... up by a woman. <laughs> you got Johnny Depp. <laughs> Like, it's a fraud and drunk and talking like this. <laughs> that, like, and then I think. But you know what? I, I got one more thing about that. You can't get <laughs> you can't get made fun of in fifth grade for getting the shit beat out of you by a girl. Those girls, some girls in fifth grade are having their periods. Like the girls were much taller right, than guys. Right. Cool. Girls. Fifth yeah, grade she girls was also like bullied. fucking five eight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and you probably were barely reaching five foot at that point. I think, point. yeah, I was like maybe five two. I don't even know if I was five foot yet in fifth grade, and I'm six three now. <laughs> yeah, I had my growth spurt in like uh, seventh grade. Nice. Yes, yeah, se seventh or eighth grade or something like that. Do you remember growing pains? Those sucked. What just happened? You got oh really shit. Dark. 
Oh no, the light turned out. No, my <laughs> light. Perfect time for me to fill my drink mm-hmm. up real quick. I was like, did the power go out? But nope, still got. Yeah, out. I was like, how? How? Like, I was like, the power went out. How are we still? Oh on? man. I don't think he has another battery. I'm just going to have to use bad lighting for the rest of this. Yeah, that's a no-go. God damn it. I forgot you were holding the light, and when I looked back, I thought you were holding a guitar. And I was like, why does Ian have a guitar? (laughs) Ian's going to play sad music. This kind of guitar? That's right, bitch, is Guitar Hero. All right, so we're pretty bad staying on topic, huh? Uh, that's okay, that's good. That, Like I, I said, that's a good thing. Uh, let's go on to coaches. Uh, I'll lead off with probably someone who most people hate at this point and are probably, I don't know if you hated him, but Urban Meyer, just because he was Ohio State, and he's also just another scum of the earth. I swear he just got like his daughter's friend to do that shit at the bar. <laughs> Like, sit on his lap. He wanted to be fired. He didn't even get fired for that. He got fired later in the year for other shit. But, I mean, like, they were seriously, like, he, I think he thought it was going to get him fired. I don't even know. They, how much did they pay him? It must have been a ridiculous amount of money. I never thought he was going to work in the NFL. He is, he is an absolute dictator. And that's why he worked in college. Yeah. But that's, that's absurd. And then sitting his... Sitting his assistant coaches down and just telling them they're all losers. <laughs> kind of a G move, if I'm being honest, but also, like, that's, that's a dickhead. Yeah, that's pretty fun. <laughs> uh, everyone pretty much hates Coach K if you're not a Duke fan, so I threw that on there. Uh, and then... Oh, wait. I was thinking Coach K as in fucking the coach of Kentucky. <laughs> Oh, no. John Calipari. <laughs> no. That starts with a C, I think. Yeah, I know. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but I just saw the K, and I thought Kentucky. That makes sense. That makes sense. <laughs> I honestly got, until I like actually started to really watch college basketball, I got them confused. I was like, wait, so one's, one's Coach K, but it his name's Shashevsky, which I'm not even going to get into how that doesn't make any sense. And then the other one's Coach Calipari. Yeah, he, now, the other one's Coach Calipari, but that doesn't even start with a K. It's a C. And I'm like, <laughs> I, I don't know. I just know both people hate both of them. But the one that I think it's – most people probably wouldn't think this because he's such a loser. Uh, Hugh Jackson. And I'll tell you why I hate Hugh Jackson. Because every time – Is he even a coach story, anymore? No, he's not. But he was such a loser at first when he was with the Browns. And the fact that now like, – that all that Bar- uh, Brian Flores stuff came out, any kind of story about a coach that comes out of being like wrongfully treated or terminated or whatever, like Hugh Jackson's like, yeah, that happened to me too. And it's like, no, it didn't. If it really happened to you, dickhead, it would you would have told us when you got fired by the Browns. You got fired by the Browns because you went like two and 42 in three seasons. Something just crazy sucked. bad. Something yes. really bad. Just for not good. Dude, I... I can't believe that he was even hired by them in the first place. But uh, yeah, it was. Do you have any coaches at all? I don't know if you put one down. Um, I don't. I don't know if I did. Oh, you said Brian Kelly. Oh, uh, Brian one. Kelly. That's a good one. That is a good one. You mean you mean Brian Kelly from Louisiana? Oh, you mean a uh, uh, stinky one two eight seven nine? <laughs> did you see that today? No, I didn't. See it that. was it was on a uh, bar stool. So I guess he. Uh... Oh shit! I tried to save it. I was gonna save it, but I did not. He also killed a kid. So. What? You didn't hear that? You never no, heard that, tell story? that story. While I'm looking this up, he uh, there was a kid who like filmed practices or stuff, and he usually went on like not a forklift, one of those like scissor lifts or whatever, like way up high. And he was like, coach, I don't want to go up and film. Like, it's literally like thunderstorming. And Brian Kelly made him go up there and do it. And he got struck by lightning and died. What? Yeah. <laughs> Dude. That guy just got paid millions by LSU. Not, I mean, LSU isn't exactly like the. Holy shit. 
Pearl franchise either. They are they were uh, had some kind of scandal or whatever where they were fake donating money to like a children's hospital and then keeping it for themselves, something like that. Oh, here, okay, I found it. So uh, it was on the Pat McAfee show, and oh. they said, "Is Stinky one seven three zero two one five three Brian Kelly's burner account?" And then it said uh, Pat McAfee goes through his account uh, and he seems to claim that the AD and president of Notre Dame are retiring and that someone was the stock gap hired, whatever. And then, but the <clears throat> Twitter account only follows uh, Kelly's family and is very similar to a Twitter burner operated by someone else. That's funny. The link comes after Brian Kelly accidentally posted an account from the tweet. <laughs> In his IG story. Why do people even have burners? Like, I don't know. Just stay off the social media. Or just do what, like, I mean, Kevin Durant was one of those people that had burners. But just do what Kevin Durant does now. And just do it from your own account. Kevin Durant on Twitter is hilarious. He just goes at people. (laughs) And he will roast. He'll find random Twitter, Mm -hmm. like, Twitter videos of people playing basketball. And he will just roast the fuck out of them. He's like, y'all suck. (laughs) Or like him in the one game, the one fan said, KD, you got to pick it up or something. He's like, how about you sit down and shut the fuck up? <laughs> <laughs> My God. Dude, speaking of great Twitter accounts, Joey Votto's Twitter account, he just I'm... made it. Only has four tweets, I think. I was wondering. Every was single like, one of them are gold. I was wondering why. It's like I, I have your tweet notifications on for like uh, our podcast Twitter or whatever, and I keep seeing you retweet Joey Votto. I'm like, why does Ian like Joey Votto all of a sudden a lot? I've always, I've always actually liked Joey Votto. He's the one. I mean, I don't even hate the Reds that much. So, but Joey Votto is that guy. He's so funny. He is so funny, dude. And he's a huge fan of comedy. He uh, <laughs> just watch a uh, Gerard Carmichael special on HBO. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. if you haven't seen that yet, watch it. It was so good. And then he, like, recreated a Doja Cat uh, TikTok oh, where it was like, I found my Ron Weasley wig, and he's, he's doing, like, a crazy dance. <laughs> <laughs> I love should, Joey Votto so much. We should do that next weekend. We should do uh, best athlete social medias. Yes. yes on, any, was, on any of them. I, I was think just thinking that, that'll be good. So Yes, that you'll, we'll need to do some prep for that. So put that on the itinerary for next week, people. Yeah. Get excited for yeah. that. If you have any suggestions, hit us up on Hogs and Perogs at twitter.com. Hogs and Perogs. Yes. Follow us, bitches. <laughs> I'd like to reach that 20 follower threshold. You want to do plugs? Plugs? What are we plugging? All our, all our socials? Yeah, let's take some time to do some plugs. All right. Uh, you go ahead. You take charge of that. Uh, at Ian underscore DeCarlo for my personal views and stuff. I'm very mean to people on Twitter. Um Let's see, Hogs and Pierogues, our Twitter account for the podcast. Yes, uh, I I try to keep up and Facebook. tweet a lot. But don't worry about Facebook. <laughs> no a, Facebook sucks. <laughs> Facebook is for a bunch of dumb old people to argue about politics anymore. Fuck that. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm full of hate today for some reason. Like I said, I had like a great I said. day. <laughs> uh, Came into this getting a weird vibe. I was like, yeah. All, all I'll plug is my Twitter, <laughs> uh, ham underscore I am two eight because I swam the two hundred I am. In two oh eight was his best time. <laughs> it was actually the first time I ever swam the two I am. That was the time I went. Two oh eight. Yeah, it's actually just twenty eight though. <laughs> but uh, yeah. That's two M's. Ham with two M's. Uh, next Wednesday, I'll be live streaming myself eating as many hot dogs as I can in an hour. No, oh, that's what I wanted to, dude. No, no, we got to save that for. Well, no, this is. For, I'll for, do it for the podcast as well. But I was no, in Twitter no, 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 no. You're you're gonna get like practice in that. I want to beat you, dude. John and I had a hot dog eating contest one time, and this isn't this isn't like I'm gonna eat them as fast as I can. It's a how many casual hot dogs can I eat in an hour, and this has to do with. Again, I'm going to mention Barstool. I was going to not do it this week. <laughs> I wasn't going to do it. But you well, did I just it first. did, so it's okay. Yeah, I, I did it first. <laughs> one of their shows, they did they did this. And they have a, there's this one guy who hosts a, like a Barstool Twitter Spaces every Wednesday. 
And last night I said I could wipe the floor with them. I said I could eat like at least 15 in an hour. And everyone was like, do it. I will absolutely watch it. So I'm going to live stream myself, I think, around on Twitter. Mm. I was going to try and figure out how to do it on YouTube, but that was too much. 15 in an hour? Yeah. They did 10, and like three of them threw up. How? I don't know. It's one of the funniest videos I've ever watched because the one guy. Dude, I ate four the other night just for fun. Yeah. That's what I said. I said I could absolutely murder it. I don't know. In 20 minutes, not trying to eat them fast or anything. (laughs) And I'm going to do it with mustard, too. I'm going to put some shit on them. I felt like, like shit afterwards, but I, oh, I did it. <laughs> the one, the one guy, he threw up a bubble. <laughs> it's like a, literally like this long and like this wide around. It looks like a blown up. It looks like he's throwing up a blown up condom. It's like a bubble. <laughs> uh. <clears throat> oh, are you throwing up a blown up condom? <laughs> Hopefully not. I said, I said, everyone's gonna tune in to either watch my victory or my misery. People are probably going to want my misery instead of... I don't know how many people are actually going to watch, but I'm going to go on the spaces before and say, hey, guys, tune in, and they can talk about it. I'm well, I excited. think once you, once you reach 15 pretty easily, everyone's going to be like, do 20, pussy. I mean, I'm going to get, like, 20. I'm going to see how many I can do. And like I said, I'm not going to do, like, the Joey Chestnut, like, dunking in the water and eating them fast. I'm just going <laughs> to... Yeah, no. I mean, I'm just going to riff. I'm just going to basically do, like, a live podcast almost where I'm just going to talk about whatever. I've got a story I can tell about... Uh, a llama with a prolapsed anus. Uh, so, oh my god! <laughs> you know what? Ew! You know what? I'll I'll tell that on here at the end of this show. To just to just for a uh, good end of this end of the show story. The pro- you may as well tell it now. <laughs> no, no, make make these fuckers wait. You gotta finish. We gotta finish hate. All right, I'm not done hating. Fair enough. We got some. We got more shit to get to. Uh. I'm not even going to do teams because most of them are just rivals. Like Ohio State, they just kicked. At this point, all my teams suck, so I just hate all of them because they're better than us. I hate. I yeah, hate, I hate. I hate my own team more than their rivals. Yeah, yeah. That's, <laughs> I hate the Eagles. I hate the Flyers. I don't mind the Phillies or Sixers because they're doing all right. I just I hate the Eagles and the Flyers. I hate Howie Roseman. Howie Roseman can suck a dick. Uh, <laughs> it's been my go-to phrase today. I want everyone to just suck a fat cock. <laughs> actually no everyone's to shuck like suck a chode because i feel like that's more demeaning like everyone can get choked with a big cock no one's gonna choke on a chode <laughs> choke on a micro penis <laughs> choke on a man clit <laughs> man i am spicy today <laughs> just because it's drought and come because no one's ever touched it before <laughs> Um, all right. I threw in, uh, this is all one category was refs, umps, officials, and commissioners, mostly because I watched a, I got into a YouTube rabbit hole the other day of like baseball videos and, uh, commissioner, like, commissioner is a good one. Yeah. I know a lot of people hate Manfred and I hate Gary Bettman for the NHL, but I got into a YouTube thread or you, thread that's Twitter, YouTube video hole of just <laughs> watching like. Joe West and Angel Hernandez Hernandez just blow dick. And I don't know if you... I feel like umpires are more hateable. I know some people have really strong opinions about some, like, NFL NFL refs. But I I feel like... some. I feel like sometimes there are, like, the... The umpires in the MLB are like, Oh, they forgot I'm part of this game. I'm going to remind these motherfuckers that I am also a part of this, and I'm going to fuck something up on purpose. <laughs> like some of the most egregious calls. Well, Joe West is gone now. He retired this offseason. Yeah. So he, he is missed. no longer. I don't uh, know that you just don't like. I, I know Angel on is Nantes. one of them. What's that? I know Angel. Is it Angel or Angel? Angel. Angel Hernandez. I know people, a lot of people just don't like him because he makes ridiculous calls. He makes really bad calls. He's still that doing it. I don't even know if he still does it. There's that one guy who uh, he called that one guy safe that blew the. It was a White Sox player or something who was going to throw a perfect game. And he was crying after. I thought I don't know if people hate him. That's just hilarious that he was crying after. That like, yeah. when did that happen? Uh that was a while ago. That, that was, was a long time ago. Yeah, yeah it was like early 2010s. I just, even back then, I was like, yeah, you fucked it up. You should be crying. 
Weird thing is, I didn't even start watching baseball until 2013, so I basically know nothing about it before <laughs> before that. Oh, that's about when I stopped watching, so <laughs> I can fill you in before that. <laughs> we make a perfect, we make a longtime baseball fan <laughs> as one person. I know the Phillies were doing pretty good there in the 2010s, but do you know we have the right longest, before that? We have the longest playoff drought in the NF in the NL. That's a fact. Currently? We, mm-hmm. We haven't been to the playoffs since 2011. What? Really? No, I think it's the Orioles and the AL. Maybe. That's insane. Yeah, you're right, because last time the Pirates made the playoffs was 2015. I was here. I was at school, 2015. Yeah. I remember everyone around here was wearing Pirates jerseys and stuff like that. October. Yeah. You guys had Andrew McCutcheon still back then, and he still had hair. Yeah. I wish that... Uh, Kutch was uh, the starting DH last night, so he was not in left field at Camden Yards. Uh, wait, he's not on I the was... Phillies anymore? No, no, he's on the Brewers now. That man is swaggy. You, you see that picture of him? Uh, oh, yeah. Picture of of it course that... I have. <laughs> oh, guy is a G. Dude, I love Andrew Cushion. You know how much I pay attention. Steel. Is it clutch? Steel. So he's going to be a porn star. <laughs> Steel McCutcheon. He's going to be the next uh, uh, OG Mudbone. <laughs> Where that guy sitting on the uh, on the side of the bed that's just got the hammer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that guy's dead. Did you know that? I think I did hear that. Yeah. But every time I hear that, I'm like, oh, shit. I think I R. did R. hear R. that. R.I.P. <laughs> um, I wasn't actually going to mention this at all, but I, you know, rest in peace, Dwayne Haskins. That was very sad. Uh, oh, seriously, rest in peace, Dwayne Haskins. Yeah. That's terrible. Absolutely awful. That's crazy. 24 years he, old. He has the same birthday as me, which I, now I'm just making it about myself, which is a dickhead move. <laughs> but that's crazy. It just put a little bit of perspective. We literally, he was going to be 25 and I was going to be 25. And just like one of those things that just makes you sit and you're like, Jesus, like that's crazy. When when's your birthday? May third. May third. Mm-hmm. Oh shit, that's right. I forgot. I think I forgot we were so close. It's coming up. It's On May always, 8th, yeah. Always during finals week. It sucks. <laughs> oh, that blows. Yeah, that's all right. I'll go home and celebrate after finals week is over. It is all right. Yeah, uh, my birthday is on Mother's Day, so. Ah. Uh. You Tell all your moms sh- to think about me on my special day. You should transition <laughs> and have a baby. That way, that way you could be a you can have Mother's Day and have your birthday. My birthday's not on Mother's Day every day <laughs> or every oh. year. <laughs> oh, is it one of those like Mother's Day isn't the same date every year? It's always on oh. Sunday. <laughs> well, you said my birthday is on Mother's Day. You didn't say this year, so I just assumed. <laughs> You assumed that my my date would change to stay on a Sunday. No, I just assumed Mother's Day was always May eighth. I don't. Mother's Day usually is one of those that sneaks up on me. Dude, my coworker didn't know how calendars worked, so I was like, "Yeah, in two years, my birthday will be on a on a Tuesday." Oh. Okay. And was... he'd be like, he was like, "Actually, it'll be on a Wednesday because of leap year." And he was like, "How do you know that?" And he had to like look it up on his phone, like a calendar from two thousand twenty four. He'd be like. May 8th is on a Wednesday. What? <laughs> he had be... somehow made it through 20 years of life without knowing that little tiny fact about the calendar at all. <laughs> That's funny. You literally just add a day. So it gets on two yeah, days. From and now. on leap year? Yeah, two days. Dude, the, amount of, the amount of things people go through life without like actually knowing stuff. Like Some people don't know that you can't put like dish soap in the dishwasher and what a disaster it is when you do. That happened to someone here. They were like, I thought it's dish soap. And I'm like, no, buddy. Like, you just turn you just turn your apartment into a foam party. Yeah, if you want to not be lazy, it's dish soap. Yeah. Um <laughs> so this is uh, back to our hate. Uh the last one <laughs> back to your hate. <laughs> yeah. The last one is actual like hate. The other ones were kind of like, yeah, well, whatever, not so much. The, the fan bases that I hate at the moment, I, I put Cowboys on there because of it's just the Cowboys, not so much. 
Uh, being out here in Pittsburgh, I can't stand Steelers fans. They are some of the most delusional fans in the world at this point. They Even last year and the year before, they were like, Ben's going to take us to the promised land. It's like, Ben's lucky to get on the field at this point. No way. That's Yeah, there's no way. It was uh, two, two years ago when I was working at Lowe's, I worked with one of these delusional just Pittsburgh fans in general, and he said... I forget what point in the year it was. He was like, Ben Roethlisberger is easily a top five quarterback this year. And I was like, what are you talking about? <laughs> I, looked it, I looked it up just to even back it up. He wasn't top five in a single passing category in that time, at that time. <laughs> like absolutely nothing. And, and not even like in the bad way. And he's like, yeah, well, Chase Claypool is also like a top five rookie at this point. And I'm like, you do realize like Justin Jefferson's out there. Like it was, it was the week after <laughs> Chase Claypool scored four touchdowns against the Eagles. I think he ended with less than ten that that's, season. That's understandable, but I mean, and it's like, dude, what, what are you talking about? And they, they're 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 not so bad. They're I don't think they're ready. I don't think they realize that they're they might end up in last place this year. I don't know how what Mitch Trubisky is going to do, but they might I, be last place in the division. I think Trubisky is going to shock a lot of people. I think he's going to have a great year. I honestly do. I think that offense does fit him better. I think it will. I just think the rest of the – that's going to be one of the toughest divisions in football coming up. I think you're going to get – I think you're going to get some real hate in that division. You know, people are going to – you're going to get some battles. I, I – even with Deshaun Watson, I don't know if the Browns are going to make the jump. Who knows if Watson, you know, is a year removed from playing. Yeah, but I mean, even when – they at least have, like, good players. When he was on Houston and they were awful, like, they just didn't have any good players. They literally, that year they, they traded away. Bad. They traded away DeAndre Hopkins, which is probably yeah. one of the dumbest moves ever. I don't know how. People people forget that. They traded DeAndre Hopkins for, for David Johnson? It? Straight up. Nothing else. Yeah, that's nothing it. <laughs> what? May, maybe, like, a third-round pick, too, but, like, not much like it was almost a one for one. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it was one for one. I'm almost I'm gonna say I'm ninety five percent sure it was one for one. That's disgusting. He, I would I would argue he is you could say he's the best receiver in the league by far. He might not be as flashy as like Tyreek Hill or someone. He he catches almost everything that comes his way. Yeah. He's it's like another Larry Fitzgerald. That would be insane. Well, I was thinking Oh my God! In terms of where Baker Mayfield's going to land, I thought of an intriguing situation where the Patriots trade away Mac Jones and sign Baker Mayfield <laughs> because there were very, very serious reports about the Patriots trading up to one one to get Baker in his draft class. Really, there were there were very serious reports that the Patriots wanted to do that, and Belichick likes Mayfield a lot. Really? Yes. I did not know that. Yes. This this came out like right after the draft was over, and uh, uh, I think it it was legit that Belichick was pissed that he that he didn't get up there and get him. You know. That that's shocking when you first hear it, but I could definitely see Baker absolutely buying into the Patriot way and him thriving there. I really could honestly see. Yeah, because he is. Go ahead, go ahead. No, that's okay. If if Mac Jones didn't do so well last year, I think they would do it. I think they would sign Mayfield right now if Jones didn't really, honestly, have a great rookie year. I don't understand why people sour on some of these quarterbacks and players so fast and other ones like they don't like people will still sit up there and fight for Kirk Cousins and Derek. Well, Derek Carr, I guess, like for stats or whatever, or the, the numbers people like love him. He's very good. But like mm. Kirk Cousins has absolutely fleeced NFL franchises. He has made <laughs> so much money and he is not good. <laughs> I would take Baker Mayfield over Kirk Cousins any day. Mo but he's and also what the players needed because he was the first one to do that guaranteed contract, fully guaranteed contract. Yeah, yeah, that is nice. He just I, – I don't understand. I understand people probably don't like Baker because of his, like, charisma and stuff like that. But, like, I feel like he's one of those guys that won't work Dude. his ass off. I feel like he really will. Like he, I really – I like Patriots. Baker Mayfield. I love I like him. 
I loved the nut grab against Kansas. Like, fuck you, Kansas. <laughs> yeah. Fuck your dick. And I was, was just, awesome. I always love to see him, you know, cooking up in the dance circle. Like, <laughs> yeah. The, 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 the flag plant against, what was it, Ohio State? That was awesome. That was, oh, I love that. It was awesome until, like, the flag just fell over after he put it down. Because <laughs> it's a it barely, turf. It barely went into the turf, yeah. <laughs> There's like, just concrete if we can, under there. <laughs> if you can cut it as soon as he plants it, and then that's it. Great clip. You keep it rolling, it loses some of its size. <laughs> but did you see his? Uh, I forget what podcast he went on. Mike, I don't know if it's Mike or just Mike. I don't know. He went on a podcast and was talking about. Uh, the, the guy asked him. He was like, "Do you feel disrespected by the franchise or whatever?" And he said yes, and some other things. And I'm like, people were like saying stuff about it. And I was like. I'd feel pretty fucking disrespected too if I was him. Like that man was like yeah. broken. He was lucky to be standing out there. Everything in his body was broken. And they're like, all right. I mean, they got to Sean Watson, so fair, but But he, like he's he's like the reason they're at where they're at right now. Yeah. I think you get a hundred percent he willed them was Stefanski didn't they did they make the playoffs before Stefanski? Um, with uh, Freddie Kitchens. I don't, I don't think so. But I also remember saying, like, why would they just hire Stefanski over fucking uh, who's the head coach of the Jets now from the Forty ers Robert oh, Sala. A lot, but he yeah. wasn't. He wasn't up to be a coach yet. I don't think. No, he, he was because the- no, because it was this. It was the game. It was the Forty ers against the Vikings, and the Forty ers had just rushed the Vikings, and then the Browns hired Stefanski. <laughs> and then I was like, why did they do that? <laughs> I think it, it works, makes so. much, Yeah, it makes much more sense, and it's worked out very well. I did not it's think very it would. Good. A, lot of, a lot of franchises are moving towards that. Uh, like, I mean, they just want Sean McVay clones, or anyone who has worked with Sean McVay, basically. <laughs> and it's worked. Sean McVay the... coaching tree. Yeah, and it's made. it's worked out. It's worked out pretty well, I'd say, for most of them. Some mm-hmm. people were kind of sour on Zach Taylor, but guy went to a Super Bowl this year, so. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah, I, I also thought that was a weird hire. But, it, I, uh, yeah, I don't. Who's that? Oh, I was looking at NFL coaches. Oh, oh, the Dolphins. Uh, no, not the Dolphins. The Dolphins. No, I coach. do. That, I do that like that guy. one. I don't know. If he's I like he's him, quirky. Though. I think he's. He's like Nick Sirianni. I had no idea about Nick Sirianni. I think he's going to be weird and quirky like Sirianni is. I'm starting to like Sirianni. But when we first hired him, I was like, who the fuck is this guy? And then he started talking about flowers and shit like that. And I'm like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'm like, who is this motherfucker? And he's wearing beat Dallas shirts. And then we lose by like 60. And it's like, dude. But uh, I think he'll be good. But no. Just on name alone, the Bears' new head coach, Matt Eberflus. Hilarious. The defensive coordinator from the Colts last year, right? Yeah, yeah. The uh, they went from a uh, a Ryan and Matt pairing of a GM and coach to another Matt and Ryan pairing of GM and coach. <laughs> <laughs> Matt Ryan, fuck yeah, Colt. He's, oh yeah. Well, speaking of that, I actually so we want to do a couple too, way too early division uh, preview of who we think is going to win each division, and I have an issue with. Your AFC South. Really? I don't know. Well, I, maybe not. I could see really? it. Really? Uh, maybe not. <laughs> Just like. Never mind. I don't think I do. I think I talked myself out of it. <laughs> but I forgot it was Matt Ryan. I honestly forgot who the quarterback that they got was. We well, got the Colts, the Texans, the Jaguars, and the yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Titans. I know all the I know all the divisions off the top of my head. Don't act like I don't watch sports, you bitch. I think the Titans, I don't know. <laughs> they got so lucky last year. Yeah. And they were literally the worst number one seed since like the 80s, statistically. They got uh, they got lucky Carson Wentz was the coach, or not the coach, the quarterback <laughs> for the Indianapolis Colts. I mean, some of the most hilarious turnovers I've ever watched in my life. They would... That's that's the big thing 
is Matt Ryan's going to take care of the football for the most part. And I think they're going to win some more games just because of that. I do have to remember that Carson Wentz isn't on that team. I don't need to hate the uh, Colts anymore because I, <laughs> I really like Jonathan Taylor. I would, I will take him every chance I can get in a fantasy league. I think yes. he's so good. I loved him at Wisconsin. I thought he was, I knew he was going to be great and I couldn't believe how I think he went in like the second round or something. He's so good. Way so better. When, when we do our fantasy league, if I'm ahead of you in the draft, taking Jonathan Taylor. Yeah. I mean, go ahead. I mean, I'll figure something out. I'll put, I'll yeah, I usually some, do. I usually do. I usually get some rookie who ends up being pretty good. I think you were you the one who traded Justin Jefferson to me in his rookie year, like midway through. Poppy, stop! You're missing one. Uh, I, last year I was I was out of it really early. No, the year before, like Justin Jefferson's rookie year, I think you traded him to me, and he helped me very much win the championship for my three repeat. By the way, <laughs> well, if if I had kept Justin Jefferson, I still wouldn't have even made the playoffs. So, no, I don't even remember who I traded to. I think I traded you like Jarvis Landry and someone else or something like that. I don't think that was me, but whatever. I forget who it was, but yeah, he. Uh, I, I do like Jonathan Taylor. I think he's he's definitely been a much better running back in the NFL than Saquon has, uh, which is disappointing. All Penn State, all our Penn State running backs with between Sanders and uh, Saquon, not great. So no. so much hype, so much hype. I mean, Saquon's been they're, they're not on, both not on great teams, so that doesn't help with also terrible offensive lines, but. I saw a tweet like uh, who was it? Miles Sanders said something like he was taking this year seriously or something like that or taking it personal. And I'm like, well, I hope you take it more personal than the year you said you'd be the MVP and like didn't even rush for a thousand yards. All right, so I have the Colts winning the AFC South. Yeah, I, I agree with you. I think I agree with both your Souths. I think the Bucks. I mean the the. NFC South is god awful, except for the Bucks. Oh, I was I was gonna say every other team in that division needs to get their shit together, unless unless like before they, they can even start thinking of competing. Yeah, I mean Jameis will be fun to watch on the Saints. Now I can root I can root against the Saints now. That's gonna be fun <laughs> because we get their first round pick next year, and I think that might. Ooh. Some people some people are thinking that yeah we had three first round picks and we made this trade where we now have two, but we get the Saints first round pick next year and. Two first for round picks days. this year, two first round picks next year, right? Pretty solid. Yeah, I'll take it. And some people are saying it's setting up for us to draft a quarterback next year because next year's quarterback draft class is fairly deep, I believe. Gotcha. Um, I'd be, I'll take a Bryce Young. I, I mean, and that's unless Jalen Hurts like takes the next step this year. He'd have to not show out this year for that to happen, I think, which I think is possible. Um, I think he did pretty decent last year, yeah. It's just as... That once once we tailored the offense more to a running offense and using that skill set, it was much better. Uh, it's just as some of his passes... I mean, we don't have the best receiving group either. Um, but I don't know. I, it's another season where I'm just kind of going in with zero expectations, I could see us. I think we'll at least be above 500 again, to be honest. So, so I think that's possible. Just to recap, we have the Colts winning the AFC South, the Buccaneers winning the NFC South, and you went to the NFC East now. Yeah, because that I okay. don't know what the f- what. Go ahead. I Say think you think's I win. think the Eagles. I think the Eagles are going to win the division. I would love to hear why. Do you think we're going to draft two studs um, in the defense? Because well, we're they, not stopping Dallas. They only allowed 385 points, was which was pretty damn good last year. Not look, many. Look at who we played the second half of the season, though. That is our, our our record and stats are a little bit inflated because we played a fairly uh, cupcake schedule towards the end of the year. Gotcha. Well, never mind. I mean, I, I that's great. I would love that. I think that means we draft. Some people are saying we're going to go for a wide receiver, which I'd love another great wide receiver. And I would also want, like I said before, two two stud defensive players. I think we might even be able to get uh, Jaquan Brisker in the second round from Penn State. 
possibly. Um, I think he's a projected first round pick, possibly though. I don't know. I I think it's the it's in my opinion, I think it's the Cowboys division to lose for sure. The Giants aren't gonna do anything and neither are the commanders. No, oh, yeah, definitely not. And then I got the Bills winning the AFC East. Absolutely. I don't think Miami can make that jump yet. Yeah. Uh, there's there's a lot of question marks still left for them. I mean, one of them being their head coach. Who knows if this guy's going to be any good or not? I think the Bills have the motivation, too, after that uh, overtime debacle. I wouldn't even call it a debacle. I mean, they came back and made that a game and then lost on a coin flip. I felt so bad for Josh Allen. I know. I still it sucks. feel so bad for Josh Allen. They changed it next year, though. A little yep. late, but that's I think okay. that's good. Some people were mad about it, but it's like, I think it makes sense. Like in a in a shootout for hockey, both teams get to touch the ball. They're not the ball, the puck. <laughs> both teams get to shoot, and then it becomes sudden death. Like I think it just makes more sense. Like I understand defense is part of football, and like it's half the game, and you need to make that stop. But like, even if you don't make that stop, like the other team should one hundred percent get a chance. And if you don't, at, at least that way, no one can say. Like, oh, Josh Allen was definitely going to go back down and score after the Chiefs scored. Because, honestly, he probably would have. He he answered every single time the Chiefs scored in that playoff game. So, I, I don't disagree with you there. Now, where I do disagree is your AFC West. The Raiders? Are you just trolling? I am not, dude. I am not. The Chiefs were in disarray for the first half of the year last year i'm not even saying the chiefs and now they don't even have tyree kill no they don't no, i think friend. i think that's gonna hurt you're he, it's, he's gonna become patty checkdowns and then the the raiders beefed up with Devonte adams oh i forgot about that that definitely helps and Derek carr is playing out of his mind so they're definitely going to be beating the chargers both times next year they're definitely going to be beating, be beating the broncos i don't actually don't even know if they what was their division record last year uh yeah, well, did you forget russell wilson was also the three and three of they the were broncos? three and three in their division who cares the broncos are, the broncos suck they have jerry judy and uh what was the one guy from what did judy do last year what did judy do last year i mean he was pretty good they also and have the, the i forget that. Last Who's year he was pretty good. No, no, I had him on fantasy last year. He did not do good last year. I mean, he had Drew Locke. <laughs> he, he did not do good last year. I think, year. I think, I think Denver's going to take a pretty big. It's going to be. I think that's going to be, honestly, a three-way fight for the division between, and, and the Chiefs are not included in that. I think it's going to be between the Raiders. The Chargers and I, the Chargers just their head coach needs to stop going for it on fourth down all the goddamn time. He was an idiot. I don't know if he's the guy. <laughs> Justin Herbert is great. Reagan hated me for telling her to pick Justin Herbert, even though he he put up good, like solid points last year for fantasy and just in general. He I did. just think their coach is stupid. Like, yeah, punted I, I don't every know. so often. It didn't seem. It doesn't seem like the Chiefs added, in, or I mean, the uh, Chargers added enough. To keep up with the, and I, I still think the Chiefs are going to be good. Don't get me wrong, but the, I think the Raiders are just going to be, they're going to be extra good next year. How's the I think Raiders the Raiders offensive line? Um, to because, be honest with you, I think it's just it, it's just average. Because Den, Den, I mean, Denver and uh, the Chargers have pretty solid defenses who can get to the quarterback, and I think that'll play a big factor. If I'm being honest, I, I'm going to say Chargers. I think Chargers win the division. I really don't. I'm not going to. I don't think that as much as I say, I don't think the Chiefs are going to be up there. Yeah. They're going to pull some shit. They're probably everyone's going to doubt them and they're going to be just as fine after last year. Um, but I, I could see I could honestly see three teams from that division making the playoffs. That would be insane. I, I think. You could. I think the AFC playoffs or the playoff race is going to be just as interesting, if not more, than last year. I think you're 
the AFC West and the AFC North have a potential to get three teams in the playoffs, 100%. The AFC West and the AFC North, you said? Mm -hmm. I think there's a possibility for either of them to have three teams in there. I, I think, I mean, getting three teams in the playoffs is tough. I don't, because it's going to be so close, I think it's going to be possibly two from each. I just yeah. don't see... I just don't see the AFC South. Well, those numbers can be bolstered because both the Colts and the Titans play get to play Houston and Jacksonville twice a year. So what does the AFC South have to do with the AFC West? Just like for the AFC playoff picture, like the the Colts and I think the Colts and Titans could be up there as far as like the AFC playoff race is going to be very interesting. I think I think you're gonna it's going to come down to oh yeah. Many different scenarios in week, what, 18 now? Mm-hmm. It's going to be very wild. Uh, the NFC West? Rams. Yeah. Rams. I don't, I don't necessarily agree. Or not agree. I don't necessarily disagree with that. Who is it? Rams. I, the Cardinals are having a whole clusterfuck with Kyler Murray right now. Just, yeah, he's... I was just going to say, it, if... If he has one game next year where he doesn't, like, agree with something, I think he's going to walk off and leave. They pulled out of talks. Like at the moment, his agent pulled out of uh, talks with the Cardinals at the moment. I don't, I don't even hear about that, but I, I mean, I don't think the Cardinals are de- are like they have so many good players. They have James Conner was unbelievable next year, uh, last year. He was great. Betting him to score two plus touchdowns every week, you probably were up a million units. And if you even if you threw a couple three touchdown scores, you were probably ended up up units on that he was unbelievable you got rondell moore who was pretty fucking good uh christian Kirk, well no he's not there anymore uh deandre hopkins and you got kyler murray i just i don't see how i guess they're i, I don't know how they just seem to collapse every year they seem to be the champions of the first half of the season every year and then in the end shit the bed yeah the cardinals blow yeah i think who else is in that division the 49ers they're, they they kind of have a QB conundrum right now too. Yeah, I don't know what's going to happen with that. I, I guess we'll just see who ends up starting that day. I mean, they always seem Trey to, Lance is probably not ready after only taking you know. Yeah, I don't four snaps every game. I don't know about him. That, I, don't, I don't know what I think. I think honestly, I think he might be better off with Jimmy G. They seem to, they. I'm pretty sure they. I mean, they obviously won more games with Jimmy G because he played more games, but I think mm-hmm. they look better. He's always hurt. Yeah, that's the issue. But guess what? When he's healthy, he he's wins. He is. People yeah. shit on him. He wins, and he's perfect he's for not, that he's offense. He's not really a uh, not really a stat producer, but no, he, he's not gonna he's not gonna lose you a game. He's one of those guys. He won't he won't throw the back breaking interceptions. Um, yeah, he'll just keep it and get st- uh, sacked instead. We're pretty. I think we we agree just on a lot of these. Collarbone. I, I I agree with the Packers for the North. The I, think, the I think Bears come out of nowhere. Easiest. The North is pretty much the easiest one to call. Add Aaron Rodgers to my hate list, by the way. He's a dickhead as well. He sucks. He's the worst. He's just such a pretentious prick. I don't he really just like thinks, Aaron Rodgers either. No, nah, he just thinks he's better than everyone. He does all this shit. He goes on the Pat McAfee show and does this whole spiel and bullshit. And he's like, oh, after that loss, and normally I do two fingers for my whiskey. But after that loss in the playoffs last year, I did four. Suck a dick, Aaron Rodgers. No one gives a shit about your whiskey. Go ahead and go do your psychedelics in the offseason that you're 100% doing. Did you see his cleanse or whatever that he's doing? No, but I might be interested. It it involves. <laughs> I need to find it because it's it's ridiculous. It involves eating basically like lard. Uh, one of the things was therapeutic puking. Uh, lard with acid in it. Rogers cleanse. Let's see if that. I just need the tweet. It's a a twelve day cleanse. Uh, I want the I want the tweet about it. Whatever. Uh, a twelve day cleanse involving. You, you eat a bunch of butter until you basically throw up. You It said evacuate from both ends. Uh, you have lab- laxatives. Abstain from sugar, sex, and alcohol. It's basically just misery, it sounds like. 
<laughs> he's such a he's so annoying. But I disagree with the AFC North. I think people are forgetting about the uh, the Ravens, and I think people forgot just well, how many. I I don't think so. <laughs> I, I think. People have forgotten just how many people, how many key players on that team were injured last year, and they still almost made the playoffs. They had half their defense was injured. They had uh, Lamar Jackson was kind of in and out. And I, I think people are going to be when I when I can, I'm I think I'm going to put money on them to win the division. Because I think people forget. Uh, people are going to forget about them, and the the Bengals are 100% going to be the sexy pick. It's I don't think it's going to be the Browns. They may surprise people, and I certainly don't think it's going to be the Steelers. Yeah, you're right. Um, eh, well, I don't know. You can disagree. That's okay. I still can't. No, I know. I I know I can, <laughs> and I will. I still think that it's the Bengals. They have an actual offensive lineman now. <laughs> yeah, one. Uh, they, they, I mean, they, hey, they made it all the way without any. Listen, that's true. Let me look up Ravens injuries last year. I mean, they had – oh, J.K. Dobbins got hurt before the season even started, and he would have been amazing. Uh, the Marcus Peters, one of their best defensive – or yeah, defensive backs, was hurt. Uh Ron Stanley, like they're basically their best offensive tackle or their best offensive lineman. Marlon Humphrey, who is a, he has basically perfected the peanut punch where he gets so many fumbles. Uh, mm-hmm. J.K. Dobbins, Marcus Peters, like I said, Gus Edwards. Uh, so many key players. The, the Mar was in and out. I just think people are going to – people seem to really like to hate Baltimore as well. I don't know why. And maybe that's just because I'm out here. And that's you're on the hate train, so I think you're just seeing that through your lens of hate. <laughs> no, like I don't know why. Like I obviously I know Shane hates the Ravens because it's like the Steelers and Ravens. Mm-hmm. But Co- Corey despises them, and he also despises Lamar Jackson, and I don't know why. Lamar Jackson doesn't do all these like info mar- not not infomercials. The I gotta get wrapped. He just up puts his head it. down and huh. I said I gotta get wrapping up soon. Okay, that's fine. Uh, I'm almost done anyway. Uh. He just like puts his head down and works. Like he's not I don't know. Whatever. Um but we can do the last thing. Again, the most exciting thing coming to sports. The USFL comes this weekend. Will you be watching? 7 30 on Saturday night. I probably won't because I'll be at my uncle's and my aunt doesn't want us to put sports on a lot of time over there because it's family time, which is understandable, but I don't have cable television. <laughs> Okay, so you won't be watching. <laughs> I will not be watching. Okay, that's all right. Actually, no. Uh, actually, uh, I'll be at my grandma's house. So you'll maybe. be at family too. Maybe. No. The TV will be on though. I'm interested to see. I mean, I, I can usually pull to get like an Eagles game on or something. I think there's also a Sixers playoff game that night. So I, I'm interested. It's probably gonna fail, like I said before, but. There's at least a Philadelphia team, so I have some kind of rooting interest. The other, all the other ones, it's like, yeah. I wonder what new. Yeah, rules. I got, I got to get going, RJ. Okay, that's fine. I was done anyway. I'm just Sorry. rambling. At this point. No, I'm just rambling. Yeah, it's been an hour forty minutes. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was going to be a short one again. <laughs> all yeah, right, you did, you did a lot of hating. I did. I did. I hope you all enjoyed my much. hate. <laughs> yeah, I hope you all enjoyed my hate in my therapy session with Ian today. Uh, and you enjoyed the episode. John, once again, suck a dick. See you next time, everyone. <laughs> I do.